some of y'all, some of y'all are just so sick. So sick. So let me give you a fair warning. Since y'all think um, what Jeff Dahmer did is a joke, I, I mean, I try to uh, give way to the new next generation. Because um, I know that this is a different generation. And I respect that. Okay? However, I don't respect you making a mockery out of what Jeff Dahmer did to my community. So, I'm letting you know, if you come to my door, with that craziness home. You won't get served. In fact, I already decided I'm going to put my dogs in the hallway. I'm going to lock the door so they can't get out, but they got real deep voices. So they, and because they're dark, one is black and one is brindle, you won't see them until you come up to the door. Because I have these kids that come to my door every year, and I live in a pretty mixed neighborhood. Um, but it's still ghetto. And I would think nobody over here will wear one of those, especially in Milwaukee. But you know, it's a different time. And so I'm just letting you know, if you come to my house with that stuff, on, you won't get served. You gonna, I'm going to try to get you to scare your life. If you come up to my door with that bull crap on. Because that is the most hurtful, disrespectful thing that, you know, capitalism is something else. You know, it really is. Because nothing is sacred. I'm telling you now. And that's one thing you have to um, understand. But one thing I understand is if somebody took somebody that the serious dominant society held uh, close, like a president or some, you know, just it would have to be maybe somebody of, I'm not talking about Trump, or somebody of the uh, Jewish persuasion. Or something that got caught up in something crazy, you know, whatever. A Dupont, or uh, you know, what, whoever. I guarantee you, you wouldn't be able to make a mockery. But this black and white played out thing. I mean, really, this is something that this generation is. This is the sick part of y'all. So if you come, this is why I understand. I get why they won't, won't, don't want y'all in the uh, armed services. And, and a lot of them don't want you in the post office jobs because a lot of y'all, just like Jeffrey Dahmer, have uh, been brought up in your mama's womb on psychotropic drugs. And some of y'all took Ritalin and all them Depakote and all them other crazy drugs when you were coming up. So you might feel a good kinship with Jerry, Jeffrey Dahmer. But most of us don't. So don't come to my house. I'm begging you with that crap on. For those of you in my city that watch me, if you think it's a joke, I, you know, like I said, I don't think, I just can't see nobody in Milwaukee putting that stuff on. But you know, you never know. Not in the county of Milwaukee. And I'm going to give the other people a little more credit on the outlying areas. Like Waukesha, maybe. Um, Wauwatosa. Because that's the sickest thing I've, I've heard. Don't come with them damn glasses on and think that because you, you got on a a shirt and some blue jeans and with them damn glasses, you won't get nothing by me. Nothing. It's just disgusting. And, 
to show you how sick the ca uh, capitalism is. Anyway, what y'all think about that? Is that just me? Is it just me, family? Please tell me. Because now this, this is just too sick. And what y'all going to do when they come to y'all door with that crap on? With that damn crap on, what would you do if somebody came to your door? All right. I'll see y'all in the next video.